The error code 0x80704EC is a Windows notification that tells you that there is a problem in your computer's internal antivirus system also known as Windows Defender. This code appears when you attempt to turn on this built-in antivirus system. There are several reasons for this occurrence. It can be because of other third-party antivirus software. Other times, the cause might be an improper installation or uninstallation of another software. Improper system shutdown is also one of the reasons for the error code to appear. Lastly, the error may pop up if a person with little technical knowledge had deleted a necessary file in the operating system, OS, without any intention of doing it at all. Solution 1, Fix by Windows Defender Services Try to fix it by using the Window Defender services. Open the Run dialog box. To do this, press the Windows key on your keyboard. At the same time, press the R key as well. A box will appear on your screen. In the box, type services.msc. Hit the OK key. A pop-up window will appear. There, you can find all the Windows Defender services, Advanced Threat Protection, Antivirus Network Inspection, Firewall, etc. Troubleshoot the problem using these services. Restart your computer and see whether you have restored your system's antivirus function. Solution 2. Uninstall third-party software. Should the error persist, Uninstalling the antivirus software you are using might be able to fix it. Open the control panel of your system. This component of your computer allows you to view and change system settings. To open this panel, type the control panel in your computer's search box. In the box that will pop up, hit the uninstall program button. The button is under the heading programs. Right-click on the antivirus program you need to uninstall. The program will be deleted from the list. Restart your computer. You might not want to uninstall any program from your computer only to install it back later. In that case, a temporary disabling of the software is your recourse. Access the Task Manager function by pressing the Control, Shift, and Escape buttons at the same time on your keyboard. Click the Startup tab in the box that will appear. Select the program associated with the third-party antivirus, and click the Disable button. This solution will prevent the program from automatically running the next time you start your computer. One of the most common behaviors of Defender is it does not function when it detects third-party antivirus software. When it detects such software, Defender shuts off, and it will notify you about it in the Action Center. Frequent freezing and crashing applications are some common issues you will encounter when you install third-party antivirus software. Solution 3, Change the Values of Windows Defender Keys The third troubleshooting option you can use is changing values within your system. In this approach, you will use the system's registry editor. Be careful when using this function, as any careless tweaks can cause irreparable damage to your operating system. You can install a new OS anew, but you cannot recover the files you lost due to the mistake. Follow these steps. Press the Windows and the R keys at the same time. In the dialog box, type RegEdit. Hit the OK key. In the window that will pop up, Navigate to this location. You now have access to the Windows Defender keys. In the right pane, there is the standard or default key. Double-click it and enter 0 as the new value. Click OK. Likewise, look for the Disable Anti-Spyware key and do the same step. Reboot your computer to verify if your Windows Defender is working. Solution 4, Enable Defender using Local Group Policy Editor. For the fourth solution, you can check your computer's Group Policy Editor. There might be nothing wrong at all in the Windows Defender. 
it might have been turned off in the group policy. The first step is to log in to the administrator account. Open the run dialog box and type GP edit, and hit the enter key. The group policy window opens. In the window, choose local computer policy. Then select administrative templates, and click windows components. Double click the windows defender button. You will see a tab marked, turn off windows defender. Click it. Then click apply, and then click ok. Perform a reboot, and verify if defender is working. Note, the group policy editor is not included in Windows 10 Home. That is because its OS is not accepted in a domain in the Active Directory. If you want, you can install it if you are using Windows 10 Home. If installed, the editor allows you to customize your system besides the function of group policy editing. Solution 5, Optimize Your System Corrupted system files can also cause this error, and the best way to fix the problem when such a situation happens is to optimize your system. Open the Run dialog box. Run it as administrator. Type the command sfc slash scan now. Click OK. When it finishes scanning, reboot your computer. Restart the Windows Defender to verify if it is working. Use all the possible remedies you have seen here, but if none of these can solve the issue, you might also want to try restoring your computer to an earlier date. For this, you need to search the system restore function. There, you will be given options of earlier dates, to which you can restore your system. Follow the instructions and then wait while your computer is being restored. It might just work. Remember that Windows Defender is a great Microsoft tool. It does not fail to detect viruses and attacks that other antivirus software fails to detect. Plus, Defender does not interfere with your work and does not slow the applications you are working on. Hence, use this free tool at all costs, and if it is not working, do your best to make it work again. Also, Follow the best practices for ensuring security. Some of the things you can do for this aspect include. Keep all software updated. Do not download anything from an unreliable website. Check the emails that you receive. If you are not sure about an email attachment, do not download it. If you need to download anything, get it checked first by websites such as malware and URL scanner, and free online virus. There you have it. If you found this video on 5 ways to fix error code 0x800704EC for Windows helpful, please don't forget to subscribe so you can easily check back on our channel for error code solutions, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell. For making it to the end of the video, Check in the description below for links to free PDF downloads like guides and hacks to optimize your computer. Thanks for watching.